r slash ask reddit what's the worst thing you've seen happen at a wedding best man starts off speech with i've seen the groom with a lot of girls over the years you know the cliche speech where it goes on to say but you're the best for him etc etc turns out the bride and groom were dating long before the best man even became a friend essentially outed him as a degenerate cheater she was super pissed was that the best man's intention or was he unaware the relationship went that far back he wasn't the brightest person and just wasn't thinking 90% of the people at the wedding immediately knew he arced up and there were lots of uncomfortable looks and some chuckles. That didn't help the situation. The best man giving the toast at the reception and saying the groom's first wife's name instead of the current one. Oh this reminds me of a piece of advice I got from a co-worker 20 years my senior. Coop 999. Don't ever wish your wife happy birthday on your ex-wife's birthday. Bride and groom got in a huge drunken fight after the rehearsal dinner, it escalated to include shouting, a name calling between both families, then the wedding got cancelled the day of. It started super late, it was super hot out, the future father-in-law was wasted, and left before it started. He then showed back up in a red bathrobe and his gun. Cops got called. It was a whole thing. Oh, and then after the reception we were all trying to convince one of our friends not to drive. He insisted he was fine. Drove his truck into the river. My brother's second wedding. For the first dance, the DJ played the wrong song for half a second before stopping and starting the right song. The bride disappeared for two hours afterwards because the wedding was ruined. I wonder if he'll hire the same DJ for his third wedding. Oh god I can't deal with people like that. I have a family member who does this. The tiniest little thing goes a touch awry, moment of awkwardness maybe, then back on track for a great day. But then they go, and actually ruin the day, but throwing a tantrum. One of the bridesmaids was killed in an accident the night before the wedding. Saddest wedding I've ever seen. That's horrible. I was at a wedding where a car crashed with fatalities right next to the wedding, right when it was supposed to start. Outdoor wedding. Horrible. The bride's grandmother keeled over, and died at the reception. Grandma really said I saw everything I needed to, peace out. I'm going to hell for laughing at this. I had to break up a fist fight between the groom and the mother of the bride. Ah, Greek wedding, then. Matron of honor throwing up, just as the officiant was asking if anyone objected. My brother was in a wedding where as the bride said I do, the groom threw up all over her due to the bachelor party the night before. Bachelor parties a night before are a bad idea, that said my brother had his then too. I probably still had stripper glitter on me. I've never understood the idea of the bachelor or bachelorette party the night before. I feel like the night before should be an early night's sleep and relaxing to make the next day as awesome as possible. Our celebrant told us if she smelt alcohol on either of us or we were visibly intoxicated she wouldn't do the ceremony. Neither of us were going to show up drunk. So it didn't matter much to us, but it did make me wonder how many bad experiences she'd had before making that statement. So our bachelorette parties. There was another one I read about on one of those weddings where you could tell it wouldn't last long threads. Where the groom and his ushers had decided to keep it dry the night before but not the bride and her girls who decided it was the last call for some serious clubbing. They came back really late and unsurprisingly dealt with their hangovers by drinking some more. The ceremony was delayed for an hour, so they could get ready. Or at least dressed. Several of the bridesmaids were so blitzed they stumbled and staggered down the aisle. The bride herself was able to walk straight, but had to rest her head on his shoulder the whole time. The post-ceremony pics were pretty much limited to the groom and ushers making straight and goofy poses together in a local park, as the bridal side of the party were too drunk to get out of the limo, where they drank more. Apparently at the reception the groom apologized to the guests and more or less implied he would be seeking an annulment. I went to a friend of mine's aunt's wedding. It was a second marriage for both of them, so they wanted something relaxed. They threw it on one of the family members property and had all the guestly grueling manual labor to get the property ready for the wedding. We were literally landscaping in the Texas summer. I was climbing trees to hang lights, we laid sod, we laid down stone for a walkway, my friend's mom cooked food for days, and made all of the floral arrangements. We were setting up tables and chairs, you name it. We worked from 6am until almost midnight for 3 days. Finally the wedding happens and it's beautiful. 
I was actually really proud of what we had done. It looked professional. We go to cut the cake and the couple is nowhere to be found. They just left without telling anyone and went back to their hotel. I was offended by that because we had worked so hard for them and they didn't even stay for the entire wedding. We never got a thank you or any appreciation for it. Other people were upset too and took their gifts back before leaving. 12 speeches, 2 musical numbers, 1 powerpoint presentation. Did this happen to be in California? I attended a wedding with this setup in 2017. Ha. Huh. No. Out of interest, did the bridal party walk into the reception to canize gold digger? We got to the church and took our seats. Vibe was off, but didn't think much of it. Then the start time passed and nothing happens, didn't think much of it. Finally I said something to a friend next to us, something like, gee this is late, yeah it's terrible isn't it? Huh, what? Oh you didn't hear. The entire wedding party got food poisoning from the rehearsal dinner the night before. One bridesmaid, then another, then siblings, parents, bride, and groom, everybody. They had a small ceremony at the bride's parents house. No church ceremony but a short talk from the pastor, in part to kill time before the reception. They made a short appearance at the reception, but that was it. Just wholly unfair. The night before my wedding, my husband got food poisoning. We got married in Vegas with a few family on both sides attending. We ate at Corks outside the Star Trek experience, long ago, when that was still up and running in 2008, and he was so sick. The next day he was still recovering and we had a late afternoon wedding. With his mom's help, we managed to get him down the aisle and said our vows, then got him back to the hotel and to bed. Been together for 16 years and married for 15 years. My dad said to me maybe it's an omen when I told him I had food poisoning and that I wasn't sure there was going to be a wedding. Great. Thanks, dad. Way to be there for your distraught daughter lol. One of my cousins ended up in hospital with food poisoning on what was supposed to be her wedding day. The wedding never happened. My mum has a bit of a crackpot theory that my cousin's mum intentionally gave her food poisoning so that the wedding would need to be postponed. Oh. My. God. New irrational wedding fear unlocked. No better way to bond a diarrhea with friends. On my last milestone day, at a destination party, I gave 20 plus of my closest friends horrific food poisoning, catered food, cilantro was involved, so was a recall shortly after. I can say from experience you are not wrong. The bride's water broke. In sickness and in health. Sploosh. That's a cliche sitcom episode. The bride tripped and rolled down a large embankment, and was covered in grass stain. Public service announcement, if this ever happens to you. Be sure to yell, as you wish on the way down. Bride was dancing during the reception, fell and broke her left arm. Lots of pictures from the ER photographer went with them. When the doctor heard he'd be setting a bride's arm, he put on a suit. They worked hard to get the swelling down, so she wouldn't have to have her brand new wedding ring cut off. Crazy. Eater, I was in the wedding party, I was 10. This was a long time ago. The bride was my aunt. The fall happened after dinner. Before they left for the hospital the cake was quickly brought out for the bride and groom to cut. Everyone went on partying after they left. I haven't seen the pics since she got them back from the photographer. I remember pics of her and the doctor in the suit, my uncles in their tuxes doing wheelers in wheelchairs and her red rimmed eyes while cutting the cake. OMG I love that the photographer tagged along and I would absolutely have one of those pics blown up and framed in a prominent spot in my home Baha. They were added to the wedding album. The doctor is a legend. Yeah but that's a great story if they had a good attitude about it. My own wedding. My mill is an alcoholic and we asked her not to drink. My Phil, her ex-husband, was with his new wife. Long story short, when we were wrapping up reception she is so drunk she tried to hit him with a bottle of champagne and missed and swung around and knocked herself the uck out. Edit, I forgot to add the aftermath. Shocked at the upvotes, because it's a tame story compared to some on here. We were asked to leave immediately obviously, and had to do something with her. We were so mad, that we decided to drop her off at the police station and they took her to Detox for the night. Question mark question mark. Edit 2, and this is the tamest story I have about my good ol' mill imagine that. Problem took care of itself, great. A giant brush tail possum fell through the ceiling at my cousin's wedding. 
the bartenders managed to chase it with a broom into the supply closet behind the bar before calling security, who called a pest ran of a list. The question was about the worst moments, not best. I would be ecstatic if this happened at my wedding, only if the possum was unharmed of course. The chances of getting killed by a possum at a wedding are low, but never zero. Classic Winston mess around. I can't stop laughing, because the first image that popped into my mind was Angela's cat falling out through the ceiling in the office. Alright, not a disaster, but funny. My wife and I booked out a small hotel in Nicaragua for the wedding. I cue the music to start the ceremony, the music starts, and there's this long delay. All of a sudden, from around the corner we hear my veil is stuck in the cactus. One of my best friends was the officiant, and there's a great photo sequence of us going from puzzled to hysterical laughter up front. My veil is stuck in the cactus. That's one of those inside jokes you spring on each other, in mixed company 37 years later and no one but you knows what the hell is going on. Husband making out with a bridesmaid on the dancer floor. I know a portion of the friends there knew they had an open relationship, but I seriously doubt grandma and aunt carol were in on it. Jesus, why even get married? Like wouldn't you have at least some rules set up, like no making out with other girls at our wedding? In reverse order, if they are doing the polyamory thing correctly, yes, there are rules. Awkward for others, but only a dick move, if it wasn't agreed to. I'm on team awkward and that shouldn't have happened. But I'm not one who can do polyamory, but I try not to yuck others yum. And as to why get married? Taxes. Taxes, legal protections, insurance breaks, and various other monetary benefits. Marriage only has as much of a religious connotation as the people involved give it. It has much more to do with government benefits than anything. No one brought up religion. Marriage has a secular personal significance too for most people. The tax benefits don't require a whole wedding celebration. So if you're having one of those it's presumably to celebrate your love for this particular person. And, you know, focus on them. To begin with there were sustained 40 below zero F temps. So a lot of guests did not attend at the last minute. The modern best man, who had just met the day before, disappeared for a bit, and the bride searched, and found that they had used the groom's parents van as a place to have sex. Problem was that Ma had just given birth to a baby a few weeks before, and she was in Ma hijing. Bride left with Ma to go to the ur. In the meantime, a huge percentage of the guests started getting violently ill. As it turned out, the beef was tainted. The health department shut down the caterer some days later, and all guests had to be contacted to see who ate the beef. This is all first-hand factual info. I was there. I live this. Thank god I ate the chicken. The couple divorced 18 months later. My wife Sabi straight up told me to get familiar with myself for a few months at least after our first child was born. I think she recommended at least 6 weeks before intimacy and even longer, if we wanted to try for another child. I mean, women are still bleeding, and have an open wound in their uterus for 6 weeks after birth so yeah, you wouldn't want to be introducing anything up there. Bride punched her new sister-in-law. She got caught, having sx with the bride's 17 year old son in the kitchen of the church. This literally was Friday night. At the hotel where I worked, a man and woman, guests, not in the wedding party, were caught having sx in a waitstaff station in the coffee shop which was closed in the evenings. They apparently neglected to notice that said station was in a location that was not hidden in any way from the main hallway, where people of all ages walked back and forth. My wedding. Evening was wrapping up, and I hadn't seen my new husband in a while. He had taken off to local bars to continue partying with friends. Without his new bride, my bill, as advised by my heavily pregnant sister, escorted me to find him somewhere. We were in our mid-30s. I'm daily grateful for my sister and Bill in my life. And even more grateful ex is long gone. This exact thing happened at my cousin's wedding. It was time to cut the cake and the groom was nowhere to be found. Her brother found him at a nearby bar with some of his groomsmen. My cousin married into a very religious family. During the after party somebody spiked the punch so to rid the room of the sin of alcohol one of the religious people set the table and punch bowl on fire. That's metal AF. Even Jesus flipped a table or two in his time. I grew up in a ghetto in LA in a Mexican neighborhood. It was summer after 11th grade and I went to a wedding reception for a Russian guy in the backyard of a house, my older brother's friend. 
His bride was about 17, blonde and pretty. She spoke no English and was brought over from the old country to marry him. He was 18, but seemed 30, and was always drunk. They both were very drunk and argued all day in Russian. The people had just started dancing in the garage and the bride grabbed my hand and pulled me to the dance floor. She danced too close and started grabbing my balls. I pushed her away several times and then left the dance floor. The best man came up and said hey I saw what happened. I cut him off and said nothing happened. He said I know and on behalf of Bill I just wanted to thank you. Things were getting chaotic and I thought I was gonna have to fight if I didn't leave soon. 20 minutes later the groom was passed out at a table. I was leaving and walked past the garage and saw something terrible. The bride was on her knees blowing some guy and a bunch of other guys were blocking the view laughing and waiting. I felt like throwing up. I never saw any of them again. That's the worst thing I ever saw at a wedding. Thank you.